Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, you, we <laughs> were in um, kind of the middle of a story event here. I wish I could have caught the beginning of it, but it happened when I committed to my long rest, so sorry about that. But um, Asterion was uh, about to bait, bite down on our neck because he's a vampire. Um, apparently, no, we, we, we already pretty much knew that. Pick up a stake and lunge at the monster. Um, I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boar you snacked on. Oh, is that what was it? Okay. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. <laughs> a strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. Uh, why didn't you just tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. I mean, I don't think I can, but I'll go along with this for now. I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Bizarre. Uh, all right, but go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. That sounds reasonable. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Weird. I mean, like, surely there are better places than on the neck, because, like, it's if like you... It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Like, you could just literally die. <laughs> Grab the stake and drive it into his heart. Push him back. Well, just barely made that one. Oh, that... That was amazing. My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel... happy. I like how this is always an option. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. <laughs> this is a look gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Well, I got a Chivo from that. I I swear to God, I said Asterion to have clothes. Hold on a second. Watch your back. People are gonna be reading into this. There we go. That's that's better. Um, let's have a chat. Let's move. Wait, bloodless feels a bit woozy. Negative one to attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. I should speak up. Oops. Good morning. How do you feel? Uh, my neck hurts. Uh, I feel awful. No, uh, I'm I'm fine. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them, and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. 
Is that how you can stand the sun? Because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. <laughs> They're all perfectly mundane activities now. That's always a, a rule that quirks, we love. Well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. The uh, being invited into homes is such a is such a funny classic vampire rule. What's causing this? The mind flayer's parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake, he best not develop an appetite for Githyanki. I trust him, he won't hurt us. Uh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. There now. We're all friends again. <laughs> Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Okay, let's let's uh, break camp. I appreciate the uh, the character development. Don't waste a step. All right, we're heading in this way. Now let's see, Kresh, find the night song, visit the goblet camp. We're going this way. A nice little old bridge here to jump over. I love a good broken bridge in D&D, &D, you know? What? What just happened? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say. For your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> They do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. I don't know if he's one of the extra characters. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course. What I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. Yo, what? There, middle of somewhere. Nice decor. <laughs> the house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. How, how is that? What makes you say that? Call it a... Ninth sense. Okay. Hmm. 
What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. What makes you think I need saving? Come now. Why play hard to get when you're in deep over your tadpole head? One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I, mean, I could fix it all like that. Um. Then fix it or die at my hand. I'll do anything to get rid of the tadpole. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Seems to me a deal with the Try devil is no better than a tadpole in the head. Around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. And if I don't do want to take this deal, how would I find you? I'll be around watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Okay, bud. Keep your distance, darling. Well... That's quite something. Um, I want to get over here. How do we get over there? We don't know yet. Okay. Because we need to go, we need to keep going west. I wonder if maybe I need to cross this bridge. It looks like it just crosses north and then uh, kind of keeps going north. Well, it probably heads to the crash. So we want to go this way, maybe. I guess I went the wrong way. Tons of stuff to do, places to go, people to meet. Scrawny bugbear, huh? They seem to be a red blip on my map, so they will actually be not cool with us. Um, I guess I didn't go this way. Why didn't I go this way? It seems so obvious. If you want to keep your insides on the inside, don't cause any trouble. It's astonishing to me how bold goblins are. Because, like, I know they're, like, you know, quotation marks evil and all. Uh, but also, it seems to me that they just have absolutely no sense of, you know, like, these guys are clearly tough enough to pulp you you know like wh why are you they seem to want to pick a fight with everyone a little souvenir i love the uh ambient sound effects so the smoke okay so this is the way to goblin sans saza not sure if this is where we're supposed to go but we have to go here anyway so let's do this I'll tell the gods what's what. All right. Goblins are hurting. Well, look what the rat dragged in. Can it? I know something Ragslin will want to hear. 
Yeah? What's that? I've been in some druid's grove. This one spring me. Now move over so I can tell Regslin myself. Hold on. Where are the Raiders? Dead. Every last one. Regslin's drow friend won't be happy to hear that. She'll be happy enough when I tell her where them lubies is holding up. Let me through. Hold on now. Is it true what Sez says? You helped her escape that grove. Yeah. I don't believe in keeping prisoners. <laughs> then behave while you're inside. Our people don't mind it one bit. That's enough out of you. Come on. Gotta let the drown know where them looters is. We'll be heroes. Pretty sure uh, the drow might be the one that's leading them. I might just have to Stop do fidgeting. like a a sneaky oh, kill here. Oh, Seems uh, underhanded to underhand some goblins, but it's not like they're not already pretty underhanded themselves. So, uh, you know. We might we might just uh, kind of cut the hydra. Wait, the head of the uh, head of the snake, not the hydra. That's that's the bad thing to cut off. Oh no. I wonder if they have authority over me. My boys. Obey my command. The voice is irresistible. You recognize the overwhelming authority that you've used on others, only infinitely stronger, and turned against you. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. Aid their search for the prison, and you will be worthy to stand beside them in my presence. Sorry, I make it a point not to help people with evilies. Speak in evilies, you know? Yo, roll, roll the jagged d20. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows. My forces gather. The reckoning draws. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I feel like you do, though. The voice is gone. Muted by this... This gith relic. Why does a half-elf carry it? Um... That power, is that what happens to others when we use the parasite on them? Perhaps. But whatever it was, I don't want to experience it again. The artifact seemed to stop the voice. What is it? I don't know. Not exactly. All I know is it's important I get it back to Baldur's Gate. At any cost. Why Baldur's Gate? What, what aren't you telling me? I suppose if we're to continue together, I may as well tell you. I serve Shah. My home is a secret cloister in Baldur's Gate. A group of us were sent to retrieve the artifact. Now I'm the only one left. I can't afford to fail. I can't tell you any more. This mission required utmost secrecy. We all submitted to having our memories suppressed so that we couldn't betray Shah's confidence. If I reach my contact in the city, I'll have my memories restored. Until then, I have to guard the artifact with my life. All right. There. You have the truth, for all it's worth. Let's continue. 
Heavens forbid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Um... Your face is your own concern, not mine. True. I didn't think you'd react so pragmatically. Perhaps I should have told you sooner. Now that the truth's out, tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. True. Okay. Well, I'll ask this, but... There's nothing more I can tell you. All I remember is that I have to get back to my contact in the city. I know those symbols. Githyanki runes. Ancient as Vlacketh herself. You stole that from my people. Yes. And a lot of my people died in the process. I won't fail them. Not after what I saw your kind do to them. Mm, a powerful makes... artifact indeed, to have caught the attention of so many. Not least the absolute itself. Explains the, uh, in the vision, the chosen are searching tension. for it. With the cultists' aid, it will not be long before they find it. Before they find you. You have evaded them so far, thanks, it seems, to the artifact itself. But how long can such protection last? Shadowheart has made her position clear. She will see that it is taken to its destination. At any cost. No doubt the Githyanki will seek to reclaim that which is theirs. But you still do not know what it even is. Uh, enough, both of you. We need to work together. For now. But any crimes against my kin will be answered for in time. I just saved you. Keep that in mind next time you want to air your grievances. By the way, can we do sneak attack now? Okay, <clears throat> that's good. Shielded from the voice of the absolute. So yeah, we may very well be doing a sneaky sneak attack here. Oh, well, hey, it's Volo. Sounds like they've captured themselves above. How did he even get himself here? With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. The inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had Reduce them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> Give him your rapt attention. You, move on! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick, that a friend of yours. Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, um, I am... A draw Ragslin, um, um, Tumptuous, uh, draw Ragslin, uh, um, bah, you broke him! <laughs> wait, wait, draw Ragslin, we pay, we... Come on, pigeon, back to your cage. Now, oh, look what you've done. Come on! Fun. Of course, man. My name's Gribbo, idiot! Yo, that right, goblin's yes. peeing. Not for me. Let's see what he's selling. Can we... Oh, you look like just get shoved off there. Jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it. Uh, let me see what you have. He has some boots. Swear, uh, Swirezy boots, acrobatics, refined vaulting, jump distance is increased. Hide armor. Oh, that could. Oh, that's medium armor. Shoot. Um, 
balance gain plus one again with dexterity doom hammer Ooh, could be good for uh tav i mean they've got some cool stuff i'm sure they value their stuff though so we can't really buy it for you know a decent price boots of aid and comfort oh when it, the wearer heals the target it gains an additional three temporary hit points that's actually quite nice kind of like that a lot i'm gonna keep these speedy light feet i would kind of like to see I've got other customers. i'd like to see um Asterion get medium armor proficiency i should have paid a uh, closer attention to where volo ended up so we have guard gurgan No go inside. Inside boring. Oh, boring. You sure? I can go inside. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi, so much fun. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Not your usual haunt, I take it. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Oi! Ain't no party in here! Shay it, Graw! Olak cleared us! Got a visitor for the drow, I do. My ass! What's a true soul want with any mate of yours? Private business, that is. Raiding business. But if anyone wants a piss pot guarded, we'll call. Just get your friend branded proper. Right, Sazza? Got better things to do than. No, you don't. <laughs> I appreciate that. Bloody racket. No, you don't. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Oi. I think she's gonna lead us straight to the head of this whole thing and we're just gonna like nip this whole thing in the bud Do you hear the absolute mm -hmm. voice? Do you feel like burnt flesh? The goblins decorations are an improvement Ooh, they've got spiders Spidey spiders Oh, this place is extensive. We are gonna make enemies of a lot of people Let's not get its attention. Scrying eye. What are we waiting for? Spears. Mistress! It's me, your loyal servant, Cesar. I'm back! And I brought a friend. How thoughtful. And where did you find this friend? They was in some rickety druid grove. Mostly full of tieflings, but them intruders you're after were hiding out there. I presume you dealt with my prey and massacred the rest. Wow. Uh, well, the fear about that is they sort of massacred us. But this mug helped me to escape. I say we stick a few holes in him. Show how grateful we are. You feel a cold hand caress your mind as the drow appraises you. Oh, dear. Your prisoner is one of the Absolute's favorites, Saza. A true soul. No, a combi. They was in the grove, hanging around with the tieflings. Undercover, no doubt. Carrying out the Absolute's will. Oh, Saza, you have made a grave error. And it will be your last. My spiders are hungry, little one. But before they feast, tell me where that grove is. And I may yet spare your life. I mean, Saz is not going to be pleased with us. To the east. Big old gate covered in ivy. Don't hurt me, mistress. Please. I will not hurt you. My spiders will have that pleasure. No, I mucked up. I'm sorry. But I didn't know who they was. They didn't tell me nothing. She's telling the truth. She didn't know. I told you. I was trying to follow orders best I could. Silence, wretch. And remember, 
You owe your miserable life to this one. I won't cause any more trouble. I swear it. Through sheer luck, that pathetic worm has brought me the information I need. And it seems that the inhabitants of the grove trust you. We can use that against them. You have a part to play in this slaughter. Return to the grove. When my raiding party approaches, throw open the gate and signal me. The fate of the grove's inhabitants hangs in the balance. Killing the drow here would spare them, but it might be better to face her warband at the grove itself on familiar ground. On the other hand, participating in the slaughter as she asks may be the perfect way to earn her trust and access to the cult's inner circle. Hmm, it's an interesting idea. If we go along with the plan, then we get to fight a whole warband on at an, at an advantage, uh, meaning we'll have like garrisoned defenses and we can probably just like cut them all down at that point. Um, it'll be a tough fight, but like that way we can actually like make a move and like there's a lot of there's a lot of goblins and mooks here like it's a lot of um it's a it's a big business right I, killing this one drow it might disperse them but there's still going to be a problem if we can actually like wage war at an advantage it might be a better better idea um hmm I'll get it done. Good. Marshalling the goblins is no simple matter, but my warband will be ready to attack by next light. Once we are in position, we will wait for your signal, and then we will break them all. Gather the that was a betrayed us, but we convinced Minthera to spare her life. We were talking Let's hope she'll remember what she what we did for her. You receive a assassin's touch dagger. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a really nice gift we've just received. I don't know why we received it. Have we already equipped it? Why does it show it? Us? There it is. We're uh, definitely going to put that on uh, Asterion. Amazing. Oh, I do love when a good plan comes together, you know? I'm gonna have a Styrian wear this magic ring. You never know. It might be magic. Be brief. The eye's glassy black surface reflects your gaze. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. Give a cheerful wave. You sense no reaction from the unblinking eye. Uh, let's have Tav look at it. The eye's glassy black surface reflects. As you gaze deeper, you feel a focus, an intent. Reach out to the presence. You feel a brief lurching connection. The sensation of falling into your own image endlessly. Confusion, alarm, then the presence withdraws, leaving a dull black mirror once more. Hmm. War map. Have to keep going. Hold on. Let's uh, keep let's do a little bit of stealing. Moving. Some nice boots, some gold. Um, scroll of blur. War map. A little souvenir. Uh, what else we got? Potion oh, of healing. I'll definitely grab that. Oh yeah, yeah. Nothing, uh, nothing going on over here. Don't worry about it. Um, you know, I'm just kind of checking out the walls. Nice walls you got. Ray, uh, there's a scroll of Scorching Ray. That would be nice. 
go ahead. Uh, what is the button actually? Shift C. Just like old times. Grab that. All right, we're good. Check. Okay, let's um, you know. Oops, I made I made an error. Character select. Why are we in this new menu? I did not mean to do this. I, okay, weird. All right, let's let's uh, see if we can't take the ooh elixir of resistance, curse of the vampire. Wonder if that would be useful to us. Your home is a fortress. It protected if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. Leave love and behind, family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again. But if they will see you, pale and smiling. Okay, well that's kind of unhelpful. Grab this potion elixir. Your axe got broke. Goblin scimitar. Scroll of scorching ray. Doesn't seem that the, taking that is stealing. I mean, this is fantastic. I love that we are getting away with this right now. Uh, Drawer Ragslin. So that, that may be the head, actually. Yes, absolute. Ratosh. So we've got. I guess three or two two leaders. We've got the drow, which is a problem, and we've got Drawer Ragslin. I wonder if we have uh, a, a good way of dealing with Drawer Ragslin that does not require open combat. Who is this? Mind Flayer. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute! By Vlacketh's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Shugan and Shukuk! The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. Okay, the so this guy's before the him. for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words. Yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Uh, was this the mind flayer that tortured you? This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks mm. is the artifact that she carries. I was thinking that, actually. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. The fact that this guy can read minds makes this a little bit difficult. Leave before the Mind Flayer can identify you. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. 
His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. It seems to me that you've got an audience already. I've got plans for you, boy. And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. I'm, an, I'm staying. Go on with the ceremony. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock and Koldek Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. I'm hoping they cannot speak common. <laughs> your heart seizes. What if the creature noted your presence at the crash site? Dig into Raz Ragslin's mind and control the interrogation. Um, add bonus guidance. It's not a bad check, and we should be able to make it. And we're happy. Ooh. Oh, just barely. Oh, just barely made the check. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Who killed you? Who is the absolute? What were you doing in Faerun? What did the killer want? What were you doing in Faerun? What were you doing in Faerun? Ragslin scowls, shocked by his own words, and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. He is suspicious, confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Um. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Yeah, you only get three questions with Speak to the Dead. Who is the Absolute? Who is... Who? You. You're no true soul. Cast Detect Thoughts on him. We're really pushing our luck here, and that's probably not going to do it. Even with a good Guidance roll. Roll again. <laughs> All right. We are going to dictate the terms of this. I want this disrespect line down. I'm the boss. I'm the absolute right hand. I would never deceive the absolute's right hand. Right hand. Huh? Sounds like word spreading. Oh, I love this. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Silent once more. Oops, Mr. Chance, buddy. No, no! I'm not done! <laughs> Riddles, all of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all that glory. The raid started already. 
Let's hope she's in trouble and needs help. You, get to the grove. Help the drow in Thara kill the lot. Well, don't just stand there. Move. Okay. Ah, uh, we got inspiration back for that. Yes. Honors you. And slays her enemy. Just in case. The last thing we need is another target on our back. With the dead. Do we still have guidance on us? I really appreciate that the how easy they make it to cast gui guidance. It was something I was telling uh, one of my friends is like just like how easy it is because like in D and D it's so cumbersome to do something like that. It's like oh I want to you know persuade someone. I want to um, kind of you know dictate the terms of this dialogue, and you have a perfect spell to help you guidance. It's great. Love that spell. But then you gotta like stop and be like oh I want to cast guidance. Okay, how are you doing this? Are you trying not to be seen to do this? And it just kind of uh, is enough dissuasion to make it you know not worth it Oi. if you're planning to talk to the drow watch yourself she's in a right mood let's talk really? to volo don't go bothering my pigeon he's mine so i see do you have plans for this pigeon keep him safe listen to him coo till i get hungry or some such what's it to you uh, your pet is actually a rather famous writer. I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um, set him free. I'll read her thoughts. How about that? I liked this. This was good the first time. Let's do it again. We should try. I should use other characters, not just Asterion. I, I just appreciate his uh, his uh, ability to navigate a dialogue. This Ranger better not go yapping about my pigeon. I should have turned him over to Minthora by now, but he's such a nice little pigeon. Withholding prisoners, your boss won't be happy to hear that. What? Uh, oh, hey! Minthora, don't give a cake what you think. Bah, just. Take him if you care so much. See if he'll sing for the likes of you, though. Does he think? Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Get yourself to safety and quick. <laughs> you know what else lives up for on for Eon's gold? You owe me. Oh, what's a bit of metal between allies? Hmm? I'll do one better. Tell me where we can meet each other once we've slipped the goblin yoke. And I'll offer much more than gold. Knowledge, my friend, is priceless. I mean, he's not wrong in, in a way. Uh, having to not make a knowledge nature check can sometimes be really useful. Fine mess you landed yourself in. How'd you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'll be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Slip the yoke. How do you intend to do that exactly? An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. I'm not looking for extra company right now. You go your way, I go mine. We can have Volo join my camp. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Solid. Anything else in here? Ooh, some food. Uh, I seem to be stuck in a dialogue option. It. 
Oh, there we Most go. Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Um... I don't really want to do any of this right now. <laughs> I want to talk about your Shar worship. Why I'm not? I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Okay. Lazel, pick up all the food. Dearest, what is this? Elminster? Must be brief as I am under some duress, having become the esteemed guest of a rambunctious host of goblins. I would of course rather be under duress than under a feather to duvet. Um, for danger and adversary, adversity are the very ink in my well. So this is good news indeed. As you well know, there is no wit quicker and no tongue more silvered than that of your humble friend and scribe and by regaling my would-be foes with tales of goblin heroics i have become an indispensable member of their tribe namely their chronicler and bard in this guise i shall live among them a while so that i may observe their peculiar habits and rituals as closely as possible all of this shall of course be documented in my next magnum opus my life among the conquering host to be available at all good booksellers forthwith an enticing extract is enclosed with this missive. I implore you to spread the word so that adventurers and curi curiosity seekers across the Sword Coast and beyond will be a quiver with anticipation of this life-extending and soul-enriching guide. And with that I must depart. I am summoned to sing a ballad of my own comp composition, and the lady, yes I call her a lady, who delivered the summons is rather impatient. Not to mention well-armed. Truth be told, I believe she has some, dare I say, deep affection for me. She calls me her pigeon and rarely strays from my side. Perhaps there shall be a chapter in my book regarding goblin marriage rituals. I balk at nothing in my quest for knowledge. Until we meet again, inform the world entire of the diligent research I am undertaking and ensure word of my upcoming masterwork is on the lips of every innkeeper and sell sort from Waterdeep to Bel Belier. Um, sure. Pick that up. I don't think that was going to get delivered. So we are pretty much good to go. I, I do want to see if there's anything else that we can potentially steal. Basic poison. Potion of healing. On receiving her grace. For you, mistress. Let's have some fun. Munch, munch. And don't worry about passing out. I'll make sure you stay away. This, this screed of willing ritual dagger. It's gonna pass. Um, let's do this before we head back to the grove. Oh. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviathar, goddess of pain. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I'm only passing through. Your tastes must turn to the exotic if you would stop here by choice. I was invited to discuss pain and its intricacies, but even I find these goblins crude and, well, primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? It's appalling. Who invited you, a goblin? I thought a follower of Leviathan would approve of pain. You know the Maiden of Pain. How refreshing. But there is more to us than that. 
Yes, we worship her through pain, often our own, but it is an intimate and loving thing, one we offer up. If you would permit it, I can show you firsthand. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. <laughs> the look. All right. Uh, sure. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall and we can begin. Yeah, go go ahead. Give it a go. Face the wall and let us begin. Dear ardent one. apostle. Receive condition ardent apostle. Uh, offering their cries of pain without protection has a plus four bonus. Excuse the me. The pain what? you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. We failed a constitution check. Uh, <laughs> come on. A child can hit harder than that. I should have added a bonus to it. It's fine. I'm, I'm apparently an ardent apostle. more as you wish dear one okay <laughs> wonderful just wonderful you look tired should i take over ah here we go advantage friends Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. You, you might be wondering why I'm doing this. Good. Curiosity, Turn honestly. Towards the wall. I want to know where this goes. <laughs> That's it. Welcome the pain. Let it become part of you. Hit me as hard as you can, or I'll return the favor. <laughs> I hope that's a promise, dear one. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. It was an interesting experience. You could have hit me much harder. You're starting to sound like the goddess herself, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Um, Leviathan's love. Pain is the path to clarity. When you have a 30% 30 per, 30 health hit points or less, you gain a plus two bonus to attack rolls and wisdom saving throws for three turns. Yes, I must try this test at a time. Very nice. Perhaps this one. Probably no should have done that with yet. some other character. I'm gonna Most stop leading with the uh, Asterion and start being okay with the uh, bad checks. What is that over there? Come on! Scream! Scream our back! <laughs> the look. I love the I love the expressions in this game. Come to see your friend, have ya? 
Come and join him if you like. Say will take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. Um. This looks interesting. Let me put him through his paces. I'm turn. I'm taking over. Oh, let's just do an illithid wisdom. It's only a difficulty class too. I guess there's no reason to cast guidance. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. S sorry, sir. I didn't realize. Hey, he's all yours. I guess I should stop doing that, huh? Just, just, just don't be too rough, maybe. Moonrise Towers might still want to take him. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> yeah, beating it good. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. Um, I came for the night song. Where is it? Somewhere underneath the temple. There's a hidden passage. But Brian had instructions, but the goblins got him. They said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Uh, one more question. What happened to the druid? Helsin. I... I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear. But... I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please. Get me out of here. Mm, I'm not going to leave you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure, we'll do it with the uh, tab. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. They already know. What did the goblins want with you? The, the grove to the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No, they'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. What does the night song do exactly? I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroakan would reward us if we found it. That's all. Okay. Tav is inspired. I'll fit my pack. Um, I wonder if there's a downstairs. There seems to be some kind of secret over here, so let's check that out. This is going to be a nasty jump check. Okay, we're fine. Is there anything over here? You would think that there'd be something over here. But apparently not. Hmm. Interesting. Chasm. Eh, just chasm. Don't worry about it. Alright, um... Still trying to... I, I wouldn't mind trying to find this night song before leaving, but we are going to end the episode pretty soon. Um, I mean, it is, it is, we have reached an hour long. Ooh, who are these? Okay, we'll talk to these guys, and then we'll, there's a merchant here. That the jingle of coin I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today. So I'm feeling generous. 
Your ins insignia, I've seen it before in the Underdark. Aye, so you have. There's one place the Zentarim can trade openly, thank the gods. Folk up here like to quiver over right and wrong. Until the coin starts clinking, anyway. It's just business. If there was money in being good, the Zentarim would be pure as paladins. Eh, uh, what business does a Zent have with goblins? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Till this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Oh, they got smoke powder, huh? What do the goblins want smoke powder for? Ask the drow they're all bowing to. That glint in her eye is bad news for someone. Not my concern, so long as I'm paid. Speaking of, something to trade or what? Let me see your wares. Ooh, she's got quite a lot of stuff. Medium armor. I could do with some better armor for... Oh, there we go. Padded armor plus one. Um, that seems to be the best that she's got for light armor. Superior padding, you take one less bludgeoning damage. I'll take it. Let's see if we can't make this happen. Sell all of our stuff. Um, we're in barter mode. I'd prefer to be in trade mode. Sell all of our junk. I guess I should add things to wares uh, if I want to sell them, because otherwise I'm just carrying them around. And I'm pretty sure if you send things to wares, then um, they everyone can take from them. Um, oh, am I in trade mode or what? Okay, there we go. Um, she's not in a great mood, so we'll just we'll barter this. It's fine. Pleasure. And we'll give this to Asterion, and he finally has some armor again that he can actually wear. Yeah, let's um let's start adding these things to wares. Rotten fish we can we can keep add to wares. I wish there was a maybe a shortcut key for that. Uh antidote chain shirt will add to wares. I wonder if someone else can wear chain shirt. Um AC sixteen. I don't think anyone has worse than eighteen thirteen, so we're just gonna go ahead and add this to wares. We'll keep the speedy light feet for now. Yeah, Lazel is still kind of stuck in a, uh, some kind of weird dialogue option. I might have to restart the game. Ah, drink it in. That sweet, sweet chaos. <laughs> Not that I approve of goblins, of course, filthy little beasts. Uh, I do like a good den of debauchery. Is it just me, or is, is he quiet right now? Okay, um, let's call it there, and uh, I'll, I'll see if I can't make some progress towards getting the night song. It looks like there might be more stuff going on over here. I want to do that before I go, you know, defend the grove. So we'll see what we can do. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.